create windows based application i am going to use java strings and it is built top of awt if i consider java in java everything is treated as object under this object i am going to have the component by using unicode anyone can able to process the data interchange the data and it's going to support worldwide characters hello to all a warm welcome to third session on third unit and the chapter name here is java swings i am your revathi ma'am faculty from the department of computer science vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysuru so dear student before going to start my today's session let me to recall the topic what i have discussed in my last session so dear student in my last session i started with java applets so what is java applet so here an applet is nothing but the simple java program to run this applet program i must required web browser now along with that i have discussed life cycle of an applet along with that i have discussed where i can able to place applet tags so these are the certain topic i have discussed in my last session and dear student from the examination these topics are very very important now in my today's class i'm going to deal with java swings along with that i'm going to deal with hierarchy of java swing class along with that i'm going to deal with programs in that i'm going to deal with java input as well as output and i'm going to deal with what a stream and how to read and how to write a file anyway dear student from the examination point of view once again java swing as well as java io are the very very important topic anyway dear student let me to begin our session with the concept swings so what a swing and why i want java string anyway dear student in my last session i have covered awt that is abstract windowing toolkit concept so why i want awt to create attractive user interface i'm going to use awt similarly here also i'm going to have java string so here java string is nothing but it's a part of java foundation class that is used to create windows based application so what is windows based application the application which is going to run on computer or laptops is known as windows based application and to create windows based application i'm going to use java strings and it is built top of awt there's nothing but abstract windowing toolkit api and entirely written in java in the sense the java swings are written by using java program unlike awt java string provides platform independent so dear student if i consider awt it provides platform dependent but if i use java swings then it is platform independent or platform neutral 
and it provides lightweight components. Now, if I want to use Java Swings in my program or my application, then I have to use Java X dot swing package and it provides some of the classes like J button. If I consider AWT, it is button. If I consider Java Swing, then J button, J text field, J text area, J radio button, J checkbox, J menu, J color chooser, etc. So these are the certain component present in the Java Swings. So what is JFC? It is nothing but the Java Foundation class that provides set of GUI components as well as container and it is mainly used to develop Windows application or it's mainly used to develop desktop application. And if I consider Java, in Java everything is treated as object. Under this object, I'm going to have the component. So this component includes container as well as Java component. And if I consider Java component, then I'm going to have J label, J list, J table, J combo box, J slider, J menu, abstract button as well as J button and if I consider container I'm going to have windows container as well as panel and if I consider windows container I'm going to have frame as well as dialog and if I consider panel I'm going to have the applets so this is the hierarchy of java swings anyway now I'm going to have java input and output so dear student what is input and what is output if i'm going to display something on the monitor or if i'm going to print something on the printer then it is known as output if i consider printer then it is hard copy output and if i consider monitor then it is soft copy output and input in the sense what I'm going to accept the user input from the keyboard or from the file, etc. So here, Java input output is used to process input as well as it is mainly used to produce the output. Now, Java uses the concept of stream. So here, I'm going to use stream. So what is stream? It's nothing but a collection of data or it's nothing but a collection of byte so stream to make input operation faster so where i can able to get input and output which package i want to include in my program that is java io package so dear student if i want to read the input from the keyboard or if i want to display the output then i must include java.io package in my program and it's also used to perform file handling suppose if i want to perform any file operation or if i want to perform any file handling then i must use java io now what is stream a stream is nothing but a sequence of data so what a stream it's nothing but the sequence of data sequence in the sense what it's nothing but a collection of data and in java stream is composed of bytes so in java stream is composed of byte so dear student what is stream it's nothing but the sequence of data and it is nothing but the collection of bytes okay so in java Stream is nothing but the byte and it is called a stream because it is like a stream of water that 
continuous to flow. So dear student, when I consider data, I have continuous flow of data and it's going to flow like a water. For that reason, it is called stream. And Java provides three kinds of streams that is system dot out. So it is nothing but the standard output stream and system dot in that's nothing but the standard input stream and system dot err that's nothing but the standard error stream. Anyway, dear student, this is the example for stream. So what is stream? Stream is nothing but the sequence of data or it's nothing but the collection of byte. So a stream can be defined as sequence of data. So dear student, there are two types of stream. One is input stream and another one is output stream. So what is input stream? The name itself indicates that it is used to accept or read the data from the source. For example, keyboard and file. And what about output stream? So the name itself indicates that it's mainly used to write the content on the screen or on the monitor. So here the output stream is used to write the data to a destination and I'm going to have the source and I'm going to have the destination and I'm going to have the program. Now this program is capable to read the input from the source and it's going to write the content to a destination. Now dear student, byte stream. So what is byte stream? Java byte streams are used to perform input and output of 8 byte. So dear student, if I consider Java, Java supports byte stream and it's mainly used to read and write 8 bit bytes. Though there are many classes related to byte stream but Java most commonly uses file input stream and file output stream. In the sense, if I want to perform byte stream operation, then I can able to use file input stream and file output stream. And if I consider character stream, okay, Java byte streams are used to perform input and output of 8-bit bytes. Suppose if I have long data or if I'm having huge data, then Java supports character stream. Okay, Java supports character stream to perform input and output for 16-bit unique code. So here Unicode is nothing but the different kinds of character standard or it is nothing but the coding system. Okay, and it support all kind of language in the sense by using Unicode, I can able to read or process different, different kinds of programming language. So what is Unicode? Unicode is nothing but the coding system and that is used to support worldwide characters in the sense by using Unicode anyone can able to process the data, interchange the data and it's going to support worldwide characters. Now there are many classes which is related to the character stream that is file reader and file writer. Suppose if I consider byte stream then I'm having file input stream and file output stream. If I consider character stream then file reader and file writer and what is the size of the data it can able to read or write that is 
16 bit unicode now i'm going to have reading and writing file so dear student if i consider that i want to read file then i'm going to have input stream that is used to read the data from the source and if I want to write something on a computer system that is nothing but the monitor or printer, then I can have output stream. So I'm going to write the data to a destination by using output stream. Now, dear student, I'm going to have reading and writing files. So, dear student, I'm going to have the object. In Java, everything is treated as object because Java is example for object-oriented programming language. And if I consider object, I have two type of object, input stream object and output stream object. And if I consider input stream object, then I can have file input stream byte array input stream, filter input stream and object input stream. And if I consider filter input stream that is further classified into buffered input stream and data input stream. And if I consider output stream, this includes file output stream, byte array output stream, filter output stream and object output stream. And if I consider filter output stream, I have buffered output stream as well as data output stream. So dear student, what is stream here? Stream is nothing but a sequence of data or sequence of character. And in Java, streams are nothing but the group of bytes. So it is nothing but the 8-bit bytes. If I use character stream, then what is the capacity? It is 16-bit unicode. And if I use byte stream, then it is 8-bit byte. Anyway, dear student, in my today's session, I started with what is Java Sphinx. Along with that, I started with Java input and output. And dear student, from the examination point of view, both the topics are very, very important. And in my next session, I'm going to deal with question paper. Okay, in the sense, I'm going to discuss some of the question paper. Anyway, dear student, let's meet in the next session with the question paper. Until that, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.